It's Sunday and the children have taken out their new puzzle. Let's watch them solve the puzzle. It looks like some animal. Picture puzzles are interesting. Every little piece has its own place in the puzzle and is an essential building unit, just as cells are to living organisms. The cell is the fundamental unit of life and it has its job cut out so that the organism may live. There, the puzzle is almost done. Oh, it's a panda. Well done. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to. Hi, I'm the great builder. Nobody knew me until my good friend, Mr. Hook, spotted me through a microscope and gave me a name. Living organisms know me better as cell. Does that ring a bell? You will soon know more about me. The discovery of cells dates back to the 17th century and is associated with the invention of microscopes. Marcello Malpighi, a microscopist, proposed that plants are made of tiny structural units called utricles. In 1665, Robert Hooke, an English scientist, looked at a thin slice of cork through a compound microscope. He observed many tiny, hollow, room-like structures that resembled a honeycomb and called them cells. Hooke actually saw only the outer cell walls because cork cells are not alive. Leeuwenhoek, in 1674, with the improved microscope, discovered free living cells in pond water for the first time. Robert Brown, in 1831, discovered the nucleus in the cell. Perkinier, in 1839, coined the term protoplasm for the fluid substance of the cell. Two biologists, Schleiden in 1838 and Schwann in 1839 proposed the cell theory that all plants and animals are composed of cells. Rudolf Ferko in 1855 further expanded the cell theory by saying omnis cellula e cellula, which means all cells arise from pre-existing cells.